Please click our subscribe button and our notification bell to receive notifications on our latest uploads. Thank you. Hi! Welcome to our Milk-Based Mathematics 4. This is our Lesson 1 for Week 2 of Quarter 1. This is Teacher Zaida. Our topic for today is rounding numbers to the nearest thousands and ten thousands. What does rounding off numbers mean? To round off numbers or estimate, is to see where the number is nearest in a given place value in the number line. Again, to round off numbers or estimate is to see where the number is nearest in a given place value in the number line. For example, let's say we want to round 52,914 to the nearest thousands. This is our number line. And since we say thousands, 52,914 could only be rounded off to 53,000 or 52,000. Now, 52,914 is somewhere here. So, is it nearer 53,000 or is it nearer 52,000? Yes, it is nearer 53,000. So, 52,914 rounded to the nearest thousands is 53,000. Did you get that? Another example. What if we want to round 52,914 to the nearest 10,000s? This will be our number line. And since we said we want to round it off to the nearest 10,000s, 52,914 could be rounded off to either 60,000 or 50,000. Now, 52,914 is somewhere here. Is it nearer 60,000 or 50,000? As you can see, 52,914 is nearer 50,000. So, 52,914 rounded to the nearest 10,000 is 50,000. But, do we need to keep on drawing number lines to find out how we should round a number to the nearest thousands or ten thousands? The answer is, we don't need to keep on drawing number lines to round off numbers. We just need to follow two simple rules in rounding off numbers. Those rules are, first, you look at the digit at the place value to be rounded off. Again, look at the digit at the place value to be rounded off. And then, you look at the digit to its right. Again, look at the digit at the place value to be rounded off. And then just look at the digit to its right. Did you get that? Now here's our rule number one. If the digit at the right of the place of value to be rounded off is 0 to 4, we have to round down. How do we round down? First, we keep or retain the digits starting from the left 
up to the digit in the given place value. Again, just keep or retain the digits starting from the left up to the digit in the given place value. And then number two is to change all remaining digits to zero. How do we do that? Let's have an example. Okay, let's have an example. Let's round off 81,452 to the nearest thousands. What is the digit in the place value to be rounded off? Okay, it is 1. And what is the digit to its right? Okay, the digit to its right is 4. And we said that if the digit to the right of the place value being rounded off is from 0 to 4, we round down. And how do we round down? We simply copy the digits from the left to the digit in the place value to be rounded off. So we copy 8 and 1. And then all remaining digits will be changed to 0. So 81,452 Rounded off to the nearest thousands is 81,000. Did you get that? Okay, let's try another. Let's round off to the nearest 10,000s. What is the digit in the place value to be rounded off? Okay, it is 8. So what do we do? We now look at the digit to its right. And the digit to its right is 1. So again, we said that if the digit to the right of the place value being rounded off is from 0 to 4, we round down. How do we round down? We simply copy the digit 8. And then all these remaining digits will be changed to 0. So 81,452 Rounded off to the nearest 10,000 is 80,000. Okay, let's talk about rule number two. If the digit at the right of the place value to be rounded off is 5 to 9, we round up. Again, if the digit at the right of the place value to be rounded off is 5 to 9, we round up. And how do we round up? We add 1 to the digit in the place value to be rounded off. Again, add 1 to the digit in the given place value to be rounded off. And then, we change all remaining digits to zero. Okay, for example, let's round off 67,894 to the nearest thousands. What is the digit in the place value to be rounded off? Okay, yes, very good, it is seven. And to its right is, okay, yes, eight. And we said that, if the digit to the right of the place value to be rounded off is from 5 to 9, we round, yes, good job, we round up. So what will we do to 7? We will add 1 to 7, so 67 will become 68. And all of these remaining digits will become 0. So again, 67,894. Rounded off to the nearest thousands is 68,000. Okay, another example. Let's round off 67,894 to the nearest 10 thousands. What is the digit in the place value to be rounded off? Okay, very good. It is 6. And what is the digit to its right? Yes, it is 7. Again, if the digit to the right of the place value being rounded off 
is from 5 to 9, we have to round up. So what will we do to 6? We add 1 and 6 will become 7. And all of these remaining digits will be changed to? Okay, yes, very good. This will all be changed to 0. And 67,894 rounded off to the nearest 10 thousands is 70,000. Good job. Okay, let's check if you were able to understand our lesson for today. Let's try this. Round off the following numbers to the nearest thousands and ten thousands. Are you ready? Okay, let's do number one. Number one, we have 24,382. Round it off to the nearest thousands and ten thousands. Write your answer down. Are you done? Okay, let's do number two. It's 57,861. 57,861. Finished? Okay, let's do number three. Number three, we have 16,574. 16,574. Okay, let's do number four. Number four, it's 92,903. 92,903. Okay, are you done? Okay, let's do our last number, number 5. It's 88,025. 88,025. Again, if you're done, don't forget to submit your work to your teacher. Gold star for everyone. You did a very good job today. Until tomorrow. Goodbye!